Okay, here's another example of a phase relationship problem. Okay, we are given that there is a sample of soil that has a water content of, let's see what it is here, 8.9%, okay? We know that, we also know that the <clears throat> dry unit weight is 16.7 kilonewtons per meter cubed okay and what else do we know basically that's it okay so we are given a soil with a water content of 8.9 percent and a dry unit weight of 16.7 kilonewton per meter cubed and we need to find the degree of saturation. All right, so let's begin. First thing is that we know that gamma water, well, we know that raw water is a thousand um, kilograms per meter cubed or one gram per cc, right? And we also know that the unit weight is 9.81 kilonewtons per meter cubed. That's the unit weight of water. Number two. Are we given the mass density of the solids or the specific gravity of the solids? We are not given that. So we can assume that. Remember the strategies that we discussed in the previous video. So we can assume that the specific gravity is 2.65, which is to say that the rho s is 2650 kilogram per meter cubed. All right. At this point, we are uh, basically, let's call it stuck with what we have. So we have to use this and proceed. Before we do that, though, type one or two, what is it? Well, what do we know about the soil? We know the water content that doesn't have units. So at this point, it would be a type two. We proceed to find what else we have. We have the unit weight of the soil, the dry unit weight, okay? And even though this has units, the units are a ratio, kilonewton per meter cubed. That is, we don't have anything, we don't have any, any, any values for mass or weight or volume of the soil sample. We only know this relationship for it. Therefore, this continues to be a type two problem. So, we can assume a value, and typically we assume the volume of solids to be one meter cubed, okay? Again, you could assume another value in the phase diagram, which we're gonna draw in a second. You can assume another value or, another, uh, or a value for another parameter of the phase diagram, but generally it turns out that assuming this leads to the quicker solution of most problems. Okay, I have to do something really quick here in my office, but I'm going to be back after the pause. Okay, so remember that um, to continue to solve a phase relationship problem, like this one, we have to draw the phase diagram, which I drew here before I press record on the recorder, so, so here it is. So this is the mass, volume, air, water, solids, right? We can assume that the mass of air is zero. And here we assume, based on the fact that this is a type 2 problem, that the volume of solids is equal to 1 meter cube. So we write it right here, 1. Okay? Now, remember that for the case of water and solids, we can also, or we can always, sorry, find the value of mass if we know the value of the volume, and vice versa. So in this case, we know the volume of solids is 1, and we can easily find the mass of the solids with the density equation, right? So we know that the density of the solids is 2,650 kilogram per meter cubed. By the way, I'm going to put this value in kilograms and this one in meter cubed. 
All right. So all these are in meter cubed, all these are in kilograms. So if the density of the solids is 2650 kilogram per meter cubed, and the volume is one, then the mass, the volume of solids, right here, then the mass of solids is 2650 times one. So 2650 kilogram per meter, or sorry, kilograms, obviously. All right. Now we proceed. What else do, can we do? Well, we have to proceed with what we know about the soil. So we know the water content and the dry unit weight. Let's begin with the water content. The water content is the mass of water divided by the mass of solids. Okay, and for our problem, 8.9% means 0.089, right? So notice that we have the mass of solids right here. So this is 2650. 2650, 2650 sorry, times 0 0.089 is the mass of water, right? Which is 2650.089, 235.85 kilograms. So 235.85 kilograms. Again, we have one value on one side of the W, so we can proceed to the other side again with the rho equal mass over volume equation, right? What's the mass of water? 235.85. What's the rho of water? 1,000 kilogram per meter cubed. Therefore, the volume of water is the mass over rho. So 235, well, 235.85 divided by 1,000 is 0.235. Five, if you want, okay, for calculations. Keep these two values. Okay, so that's good. By the way, I forgot here, which we're gonna need it later, the volume of voids, obviously. Okay, what else can we do here? Well, we need the volume of air, right? And we also need the total volume and the total mass. So, can we find the mass of water? We already have it, mass of solids. Let's proceed with the other thing we have, the next thing, in which case the last thing we have, which is the dry unit weight. The dry unit weight of the soil is 16.7 kilonewton per meter cube. I'm just rewriting what we know. And the definition is mass of solids over total volume. Okay, so notice that we do have the mass of solids to 650, which leads to the volume, total volume, being 2650 divided by 16.7. 2650 divided by 16.7. Oh, I made a mistake here. What's the mistake? This is very important because this happens uh, a lot actually when we mistake gamma for rho. This is the definition for density, dry density. This is not dry density, this is dry unit weight. So let me just write that here. These are different. This is density, this is unit weight. The unit weight is rho g, okay? The units, or let's just put them right here, are kilonewton per meter cubed, okay? And obviously that's given here in the problem, and also I wrote it here. So it's important to keep track of the units not to make a mistake. What I have to do here is multiply the mass times g to create a weight. g is the gravitational acceleration, okay? So I'm gonna show you actually what's gonna happen here in my calculator. Okay, so 2650 times 9.81 is what? Well, let's think about the units. Kilogram times meters per second squared. When we take a kilogram and multiply it by meters per second squared, which is what we're doing, the value that we get is a force, in this case a weight, mg, 
and it's in newtons. So this right here, 25996.5, is in newtons. We need to convert that to kilonewtons. So we need to divide by a thousand. 25.997, let's say, kilonewtons. Okay? So this right here is 25.997 kilonewtons. Okay, so now that we have the WS, this is WS, okay, we can divide that by the 16.7 so that we can get the volume. So 25.9965 or 7 divided by 16.7 is 1.5567. Okay, I'm using quite a few significant figures here, but at the end, obviously, the reported values have two significant figures. Okay, so that's the total volume. Make sure that you go back and, and rewind. If you didn't capture this, um, this uh, before in the first time around watching the video, because it's important to realize that when we multiply kilograms times G, 9.81 meters per second squared, we get newtons. Here we're working with kilonewtons, so we just have to divide by a thousand. Okay, I just basically said it again, but anyway, that's the volume, 1.5567. So I can now write it here, 1.5567. So notice what happens. We have the total volume, and we have the volume of water and the volume of solids. Or we're left to find is that, which is simply this value minus the summation of these two. So 1.5567 minus 1.23585 is 0.321. That is the volume in meter cubed of air, which means that we can find the volume of voids. Actually, at this point, the phase diagram is basically filled, the last item that we could find would be the mass, total mass, which would be the summation of these two, or these three, but this is zero. So this plus this plus this is this. We could do that, but we don't need it for this problem because we need to find the S, and that's it. So the volume of voids is that plus this, right? The volume of air and the volume of water. So 0.321 plus 0 0.2358 0.55685 meters cubed. Okay, so finally, I'm just going to do it right here so that you can see the phase diagram. I could do it down here, but it's better if you see the phase diagram. S is the volume of water over the volume of voids. Volume of water is 0.23585 and the volume of voids is 0.55685, okay? Which gives us 0 0.42, which is 42%. Or if we wanted to, well, yeah, this is fine. Actually, the year saturation with no significant figures after the decimal point, or maybe just one, 42.4 I get. Okay, but this would be fine. This is the answer. Okay, so this is an example of a type 2. Because remember, again, this is a phase relationship with no units, and this is a phase relationship, obviously, with units of a ratio. If you're just given this, and there's no quantities of mass, volume, or weight for the soil, then it's a type 2, and you can assume... that. Okay.